Well, now we'll move forward as we have all heard that uh, tech jargons like metaverse, avatars, and virtual augmented reality. I would say, but I am having one question: Why? What is this? All. I mean, what is this metaverse? We would all want to know and understand what all is this. So, for this, I would like to welcome Mr. Ashwin De Silva, Enterprise Metaverse Lead at Accenture Global IT. He will be telling us this. Hi. Good morning, all. Well, so uh, Vince Vinsley called me and said, "What's this metaverse that you're doing?" Uh, just a brief background. Uh, we go to the next slide. Uh, I live half my time in the other side of the world uh, in the metaverse. Uh, so I'm just going to give you a slight brief uh, what the metaverse all is, and I'll try to simplify what the world is doing. Uh, just a little bit of an introduction. I spent 20 years in TV with Vince and with Roo and all of you guys. Uh, but now my focus is the metaverse, and uh, the reason of moving to the metaverse is, uh, you know, during the pandemic, uh, as organizations and uh, organizations like Accenture, we were hiring more than 150,000 people last year itself, and being at home, one does not know how what's the culture uh, and what's you know uh, how one should uh, get to know the company, and attrition was growing. So what we did, we moved, obviously we were already digital and online, and we felt that the metaverse was a re way of getting our people connected. And today the metaverse is more a collaborative platform. And I'm gonna give you a slight gyan session or knowledge session on what the metaverse is. So, uh, and I'm happy to take questions. And So just to give you a sense of what is this thing, metaverse, 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 it's not meta. So people first think metaverse is meta, Facebook, Instagram, and that's metaverse. Metaverse is a completely new way of internet. And just to tell you about the journey, uh, and why is it so important now? I mean, people say it's the next new thing, and it is. And we believe that every business, every company is going to operate in the metaverse. And you see our tagline says it's a metaverse continuum. Because every company, and we made a, a bold statement years back saying every company is going to be a digital business. Here yeah, we are saying every company is going to be working and living in the metaverse. And how does this happen? You know, in the early uh, 1990s, when the internet actually came, we called it Web 1.0. And 1.0 is basically, it was a search data-based internet where you actually log into the Blings or Googles to search for data. Then came in the 2000s the whole social media and it was called Web 2.0 or social media where you can actually go and interact and share content, images with your people. In the early 2010s, uh, the Internet of Things became active where uh, machines started talking to, uh, you know, and giving us live data back. But today the metaverse is actually split into two, the Internet of Place and the internet of ownership. And we'll get into this, but this is more from a holistic, all business uh, thought process, not purely linked to uh, your own business. So let me go to the next slide. And why is it so important now? So we tried to put in a little bit of a formula or a jargon, I'm not going to drain this slide. But you know, if you look at the right hand side, a lot of things have been happening, especially in POCs, in AR and VR, and the number of glasses come in, the investors. Investments in this hardware is growing at all time high. Blockchain has become very, very important, especially today when you want to do contracts, smart contracts, smart, uh, and you know, it helps you get your ownership. That's where the ownership comes in, the smart contracts. Networks. 5G, 6G is being planned. And the availability of the internet, the availability of speeds, the way content that you provide stream fast enough is building what the metaverse is. The gaming platforms is important because all our children are actually spending a lot of time in Fortnite, Roblox. And I'm sure we find them spending a lot of time. And is it a good thing or is it a bad thing we'll discuss? But that plays a heavy role. And artificial intelligence, all coming to these are all mature technologies and the metaverse actually is all these technologies together these technologies and it doesn't mean that i go into the headset and that's metaverse the metaverse could be all or some of these technologies so in a short definition it's the new internet it's the virtual presence that you can experience 
It's your digital identity and digital assets. Today, a lot of the businesses across the world is looking at how they can generate new revenues. And I heard about the cord cutters. Maybe we have traffic cutters and maybe new ways of businesses. But globally, the top 100 companies are looking at at least 5% of the new revenues are going to come from the metaverse in a very, very short time. So in short, just to simplify it, the metaverse is nothing but three things. It's about the digital presence that you have. It's your identity and identity, I'll express this a lot more. And digital currency, how do I transact? Do I transact in cryptocurrencies, the new uh, India, the digital rupee that is coming out? And we also saw the growth of how uh, digital transactions are playing an all-time high. And this is not new. If you look at virtual spaces, I've broken this up into a couple of things. Immersive performances. During the pandemic, everybody, all the concerts, all the plays went on to virtual environments. There are multiple virtual environments where people got together. Uh, virtual stores. Today, our businesses, we don't want... Today, you know, how many people actually with the traffic and pandemic, you couldn't go to the physical stores. But today, we are more happy to do online transactions. But the virtual stores will give us an immersive space. Imagine walking into a store in the virtual space, being able to look at garments. You buy, you can get it a physical delivery to your home. But when you look at your digital avatars, your digital avatars will get its digital, uh, whether it's clothes or handbags and things like that. And you will, and I'll talk about how big the market is already. Gaming platforms have been there a lot. Our children play on this. There are millions and millions of subscribers in it. And big brands, whether it's Burberry, whether it's Gucci's, and all of them have started moving. Nike, you must have heard of Nike Land. All of them have started moving into the metaverse. A, because the consumers are there, and B, it's a way of getting a global audience. Uh, real estate and venues, and this is more linked to digital twins. Today, these are potentially the best places to go and spend your time. Uh, and we talk about, uh, I'll get into details on why people are investing it, but a digital space when looking at uh, hybrid working or the way of interaction, digital assets play a big role. This is what the new generation is, your digital avatar. And we come sometimes uh, talk about avatars as a representation of who we are. And representing who we are could be anything. Uh, I will summarize by saying that the metaverse actually takes away boundaries, it takes away identities. Today I may have a choice to be represented in a, maybe a mohawk or maybe the color of skin could change. But today a lot of investment is being done on my avatars. And there are companies across the globe who are only investing and building uh, digital avatars. Your fashion shows are happening in the digital space. You may never wear it. But look at things that brands are doing today. Gucci sold a bag for $4,000. That's probably four times the cost of a normal bag. But assets today, people are paying for digital assets because when I start representing myself, I like to be known as who I am. A digital Ashwin is a digital Ashwin and I want to look the best in life, in real life, and also in the virtual space. And that is all possible through what we call as NFTs, the non-fungible tokens. Today, we talked about YouTube. Our content is spread across, uh, freely available. But once you convert your content into NFTs, it is the right of ownership. Only like you do your contracts for selling, uh, you know, in distribution. Once you own an NFT, an NFT, you own it. It's a trade that you do it with cryptocurrency, with, uh, with blockchain, and it's a sense of ownership. You can, it is, a, is established in court of laws. And let me tell you, banks, insurance companies have all gotten to the metaverse, and they're already insuring and fulfilling these contracts. I just want to talk about why the metaverse is important and just to talk about extended reality. It's actually a, the gap between the real world and the immersive space. And you have multiple things like, so if you go on the line from re real world, the physical world and the virtual world, if complete immersiveness is VR. You, then you have augmented reality, which is going to come, and Apple is going to come up with Apple glasses. You have Geo come up, coming up with the mixed reality glasses. But if I can augment data in front of me, that's for wayfinding or content or searching for assets, mixed reality is a mix between both. Can I switch with a button, convert my uh, virtual asset, so bring my physical asset into digital and overlay content into it? 
I can talk about it for hours, but I just since seeing the clock, I have very limited time. But to break away the misconception that the metaverse is VR headsets, companies want will say, oh, it's too expensive for me to invest. Headsets are very expensive. But and actually, it is not. A, it's a multi-device and multi-platforms. Uh, mul you can use the metaverse through your phone, to your browser, to your the PC, and even gaming consoles. I will talk about why we see this and uh, oh, sorry. So what is in it for us? What are the markets doing here? Uh, basically, already Mediacom is already investing in the metaverse. You see MBC creating experiences, doing live game shows. Universal is already, like I said, being available in brands. So in Fortnite, they created a whole experience in Fortnite because the new generation audience, the millennials are there and they are your new customers. Comcast is looking at building the infrastructure in the metaverse. And Sky has already been talking to Sky what, what they are doing is creating live sports, whether it's 360 sports. You've probably seen what we're doing with uh, second devices to get you live data. So the second screen that probably some of you may have used for the football to get data on the footballers and new games and the multiple is through what the metaverse can do. Now, what is in it probably for you, uh, maybe it's a little while away, is that the backbone of the metaverse is what you can provide. Uh, digital twins, like I said, today you may want to create a digital twin of your uh, assets that you have, your offices, your space, the experience that you want to bring in. A lot of people are building this. Your supply chain that you have uh, in terms of how content is created, how content can be distributed. Somebody talked about one of our, uh, you know, people who own Parks, the large media player. They're actually doing, using uh, drones to scan locations so that your, what we call as recce's can be done so that production can be done and you, the directors can choose their angles of what they want to shoot way in advance before actually going on, sh on sites. Uh, augmented reality, is going to be great as it comes up because with augmented reality, you, let me build a picture for you. Imagine today when I have a problem, I call up an IVR and I call up the help desk. Imagine if our avatars or holograms can be talking to you. So we are doing a POC right now where we scan a person with 10 cameras and create a digital avatar. And that avatar can be connected with AI, can be used to ask questions. So imagine if your platform had an avatar, I click on it, the avatar came. As a human, I would talk to that avatar and I would get direct answers across. So I'm told my time is up, but uh, employee experience is something. You have a lot of people across the India. How are you training them and upskilling them is going to be very, very important. The metaverse plays a big, for us at Accenture, we onboarded 150,000 people using both the headsets and PC. And today, 250,000 people are using the metaverse today, both for meetings, for town halls, for get togethers and things like that. So uh, any questions, happy to take. I think I'm done.